Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and here we have the Acer Chromebook, the AC700. You can see here we have it in the box, but all the things are taken out. Uh, it is available on Amazon for $349, like the sign says, and this is uh, a Chromebook, so it's not actually running a operating system like Windows or Android, it's running Chrome. So the hardware of this device is it's running the Intel Atom N570, this is an 11.6 inch uh, HD display, uh, 1366 by 768 and you can see if we play around with the OS, uh, let's close off all of these tabs, there's a sketch pad for playing. You can see this kind of has, this is the interface where you can grab or access all of your applications or download more from the web store, but it's heavily dependent on Google, Google Maps, Google Calendar, Google Docs. Uh, there is basically no internal memory on this uh, device because we're relying on everything to be in the cloud. So this is running two gigs of DDR3, um, DDR3 RAM, and it's got a 16 gig SSD, but that's mostly just for the OS and brief storage. So if we take a look at the keyboard, um, it does have a really great keyboard, 11.6 inches, does allow for a full-size keyboard, which is fantastic. Now if you take a look at the keys themselves, they have the nice rounded edges. Uh, on the top, we have escape, backwards, forwards, ref uh, this is like to refresh the page, so you can see there. Here we have to go full screen, you can see that there. Uh, this is switched between tabs, so let's actually open a couple. Let's try this chain reaction maybe, uh, let's maybe not play it. And let's pull up Angry Birds. And then if we hit this tab, oh, it still bumps to the side, sorry about that. Um, but let's take a look at the rest of these buttons, where this is the brightness, this is volume, mute, up, down, and the power button is actually a physical button right on the keyboard. Now if we close it off, you can take a look at the finish of this device. It's not glossy, which is very nice, but it does have a little bit of shine. Uh, definitely it resists uh, fingerprints. Now if we take a walk around the system, you can see it is fairly thin. Um, it's got a USB 2.0. There's the power and the Kensington lock. Around the back, we have a panel for upgrade, although with the Chromebook, I'm not sure how much upgrading you'd want to do. Uh, this is actually a six cell battery. There's nothing else along the back. Taking a look at the other side, we have an HDMI out, USB 2.0, there are audio jacks, fan, and SD card reader. So, this is now down to 350, which isn't too shocking for this this device. Originally, it was a lot higher around the like You can see the, the Samsung Chromebook is coming in at 420, 429, and the Wi-Fi Plus 3D is 500. So, uh, among the Chromebooks, the Acer is uh, the cheapest. But uh, comparing it to, say, some of the other netbooks on the table, uh, here we have the... Uh, PCX101, this is the Mego netbook, ultra thin, really, really, really sexy. This is available for $199, so I mean, there's a lot of different options. This is the X101H, I believe, which is slightly thicker, uh, and this one might be running Windows. So, just taking a look at the different devices around the table, uh, the Chromebooks, they're definitely not my pick because of the limited operating system and the higher price. So this has been a quick look at the Acer AC700. I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News, taking a look at netbooks.